Hey, welcome back. Having uh, some form of a chat box uh, on your website is a really good thing to do if you've got a shop or you're offering a service and you don't want to always have to kind of look at your emails later on for messages or even have people waiting for you to get back to them. So having some form of real time, as real time as possible, chat box on your website is a pretty good idea. There's loads of services like WP Social Ninja, really, really good plugin that allows you to have a Facebook Messenger. So if you use Facebook and someone adds a message onto your website, you'll get it on Facebook Messenger. You can reply instantly and that's really, really cool. But what if you don't want to use Facebook Messenger and you're quite accustomed to using WhatsApp? Well, on this example website here, we have a service down here. When I click this, it's going to say, do you want to speak to Assistant 1 or Assistant 2? Now, this is what the client wanted to show rather than having names or avatars. And if I click that, it's basically going to say, right, do you now want to use WhatsApp? Whereas if we did it on the phone, you would have basically have been able to do a WhatsApp message. And we've tested this and it works absolutely fine. This is a totally free plugin, by the way. And I would totally recommend using this if you want to get some messaging on your website. By the way, I'm Imran Web Squad, and I hope you like, subscribe, share and follow because we love having you. Now, the plugin I'm talking about is called WP Chat App. It's, you might have to do a search for WordPress chat app, chat app or WP Chat App in the plugin or search for Ninja Team. OK, so this uh, plugin is by the Ninja Team, right? And uh, it is totally free. Of course, there are premium features, but I didn't have to bother with any of that. The free version was totally fine for me. I'm going to show you the settings for this. Now, once you go into this, you're then going to be allowed to basically add your accounts. And here we've added in two accounts, Assistant 1 and Assistant 2. The reason I'm in the middle of the screen over here is because I'm hiding the phone numbers that sit behind it. What you would do is you would go in and you would basically just add in the name. So do you want to show the name John or do you want to show the name Assistant 1? And obviously you have your phone number in as well. OK, you do not actually have to worry about any integration. You don't have to open WhatsApp on your phone, on a computer. I don't even have to say to the person who's the client and go, right, you now need to install something. No, as soon as I've done that, it was now connected and that's how beautiful it was. So I could have had four or five different assistants on here and it means that so you could literally have like um, technical help. Um, I don't know, general help, sales help. It could all be the same person, but the client or the user isn't going to know that. So you can make it very sophisticated or very simple, however you want. Now, the other settings you need to worry about on here are the widgets and the settings. If I go to floating widget. OK, this is where now you can start to define on Assistant 1 and Assistant 2. At the moment, this is setting it to be available seven days a week. If you want to change it so Assistant 1 is only available on, say, Monday, Tuesday and Wednesday, you've got to get the premium version. OK, however, I would like to say that, you know, you know, um, unless you're going to pay for the premium version, having Sunday to Saturday is totally fine. When you come to design, you can start to define the color scheme. You can see the color shade there and we've got it there. So unlike some other chat app messenger bots where you have to go premium to modify it, this kind of gives it to you out the box, which is really, really cool. If you're trying to customize it to your branding, um, etc. you can start to also position like um, where it is on the screen as well in terms of uh, the layout. Is it going to be on the left hand side? Is it going to be on the right hand side? Um, what is the messages you're going to have on there and GDPR notice? I think this is important. So I've now got uh, my privacy policy in here or the company's privacy policy. Sorry. So when they click it, um, when someone wants to chat to assistant one or assistant two, it says, are you aware of the GDPR? And I think that's really good from a legal point of view, especially if you're just trying to stay above the board with things like that. So a lot of messenger bots out there don't do that. And I would say it gives it to you. Just go ahead and do it. OK, display settings. Again, you get to display. And at the moment, I have got this set to uh, actually no, show on all pages. So that bot will be on every single page, whereas I could have said actually only show it on the home page and maybe some other pages. It might that you have like a, a particular page in your website, which is uh, can element or canvas. So no header, no footer. You just want the user to focus on what's on the screen. Therefore, maybe the bot does not need to be there. OK, um, and then obviously you have the settings as well. Um, button position. I mean, I just had it position. I wasn't actually we didn't actually have a shop on this website, so there was no need to worry about this. But if we had, 
we could have started saying, well, do you want to have the bot? So you know when you have your WooCommerce shop, and you're looking at your single product, do you want it to be before the add to cart button, after the add to cart, short description, the long description? So you can even get this to sit on your WooCommerce shop. I mean, how good is that? So you got your product, and then you got the chat box there in the eye line for the person. So if they want to like ask any questions, that is really, really cool, I think. And like just a reminder, look, once you go in, okay, the chat box is there, okay? And let me just show you again. Look, we got the privacy policy, please accept. And then you can start chatting to assistant one or assistant two. This is free, okay? The WP chat app, it's free. Um, you can it, 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 it's just straight out of the box. It takes about five minutes to set up once you know the phone numbers and then away you go. It's dead, dead quick and easy to use. And I think it's really cool and I recommend it. I'm not affiliated by the way. So there's no commission links anywhere. This is just me telling you what we use on our websites and I'm putting a recommendation out to you. I hope you like, subscribe, share and follow and I'll see you soon.